Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to create an estimate in QuickBooks. And so if you have a prospective client who needs a written estimate of what it's going to cost for you to provide a particular service to them, you can create that estimate in QuickBooks. And creating it in QuickBooks will just kind of help you to streamline your processes and make sure that everything is all in one place. So the first thing what we do is we always start at our home screen unless you prefer the icons and I'll show you those later. Um, so we click here to estimates. When we click on estimate this screen pops up and the first field that you will enter is the actual customer and the job. So I'm going to show you how to add a customer um, to the system and so let's say that the customer that we are adding is Tanya Smith. So we'll say Smith comma Tanya and we'll click here to do a setup just like we did with the vendor okay. and this is where you will enter all of your information related to her okay and so she's the main contact I said Tanya but I spelled Toya so let's just say Toya Toya Smith and her main phone number is 678-555-1212 and her email address is toya at example.com okay and uh, we'll say that her website is example.com and again you just enter all the information that you have we're going to enter her uh, billing address is 123 Main Street any town Georgia 33333 okay and we'll copy that over is this the same as our shipping address right and our payment settings we can enter that information here uh, so you can enter if you create if you have internal account numbers you can add that here payment terms again how long does she have to pay you um, so let's say net 10 her preferred delivery method, if she wants to email or mail, you can select that. Preferred payment method, when you select this, this just kind of saves you some time later. And so let's say she loves to pay with her American Express. And her price level, again, this is something most clients don't necessarily use, but that is an option as well. Now, if you use QuickBooks Merchant Services, you could add their credit card information here and save that information for later for you to be able to process their payment. Just make sure that if you are saving credit card information that you do have a signed authorization form from the cu um, customer or client authorizing you to um, do those payments. Sales tax settings again if you are in a business that has sales tax you would enter that information here. Any other information about the customer so for instance if it was a referral from a friend or a client you may want to enter that if you have sales reps and say for instance if you want to be able to credit this sale to a particular sales rep you can add that person so let's say it was Tim Jones was the sales rep and we'll just do a quick add for him okay so he's an employee and we want to add him and so Tim Jones is the employee who actually sold this job and so we can do that and that will show up will show you later in your reports of how you can pull reports based on sales reps and job information now if we are doing a particular job for Tanya or Toya I keep calling her Tanya Toya then we can enter the job information here and so let's say it is going to be project number 46 of oh, 46 and the job type could be fee for services again that's up to you job status is pending because we're doing an estimate right now and you can enter your start date the projected end date and your actual end date so this is all some valuable information that you can use later so we click OK and we've added this customer right um, so now um, our class would be depending on the type of business that you have and we'll talk about that in another video but in your classes you can break those down as well 
and we'll look at that in another video so you select the item um, so this is uh, let's say accounting consulting okay. and we are estimating that it's going to be five hours at two hundred dollars an hour okay and now we are ready to save this in this estimate so now we can either email the estimate to her select this box to email it later let's say for instance if you're waiting on one piece of information you just want to get it in the system but you're not ready to email it you can select this box to email it later or if you're actually mailing it you would select this to print it And so we're going to do a save and close and that estimate has been completed now I promised that I'd show you other ways that you can actually do that estimate and so you could go here to click on create estimate and start that process the same way or you can go to the customer center and click on estimates here okay so hopefully that video helps and we'll see you in the next one